Hi TMJ Disorder Sufferers, this is the Shiatsu Guy, Simon, and this is my video series on how to get relief from your TMJ symptoms. So we're looking at uh, the various treatments that you can do to release your TMJ. This one is on the craniosacral therapy. Um, it's a kind of interesting therapy. Um, it's a little bit like Reiki to receive. It's very sort of non-invasive, so it's kind of moving hands around the body, kind of cradling, holding, very, very gentle. But how it works is um, your, the, the therapist is bringing their attention to that area without trying to do anything. So essentially just bringing that extra awareness to that area where you might be experiencing pain or you know holding on allows something to happen where that soft tissue releases. It just kind of lets go of the charge that it's holding on to. Um, what happens is we store emotion in the body. If there's a shock and an emotion and a kind of impact or a trauma, that kind of locks into the soft tissue and stays there. And soft tissue can also include bone because until we're like a kind of skeleton in a, in a lab, we're, uh, bones are soft to some degree. Obviously rigid, but they're more sponge-like. So um, you, know, you can bruise bone, for example. Um, <clears throat> but I digress. Um, so that kind of bringing awareness allows that kind of uh, impacted um, an emotional charge. Um, it can also be shock whiplash is a good one as well. Um, it allows that all to release. So it's very non-invasive, very gentle. Some people maybe don't get it, like they're looking for something big and, and they don't see it, or you know, they're maybe not as sensitive or not as tuned into themselves. But the people who kind of allow whatever's happening to happen will uh, get a great response from, from craniosacral therapy. And uh, even if you don't really think anything's happening, you're just going to like, okay, well, this is relaxing, I'm just going to chill and see what happens later on. Then later on you may notice things have shifted. Uh, the way I work with craniosacral therapy is I include it into my shiatsu treatments and I might just go into a craniosacral hold um, to, to kind of release um, some, some sort of area of tension or trauma to the body. So um, if I'm doing shiatsu treatment, you may not even notice that I'm doing craniosacral. You might just be relaxing and um, notice that I've stopped um, you know, the sort of shiatsu pressure for a little while. You may not notice anything. Okay, so the next video is going to be about uh, reset, which is a jaw-specific treatment, so we'll see you then.